groundnut, good agricultural practices from harvest to storage. A farmer works hard to produce a plentiful groundnut crop by following good growing practices, such as choosing a field with the right type of soil, acquiring good quality seed, and removing weeds at the right time. At the end of the season, he still has work to do to reap the rewards. It's important to harvest on time, as soon as you know the crop is ready. A few steps can help you decide when your crop is mature and when to dig. Dig too early and you'll find empty pods or small nuts. But if you dig too late, the pods will break off in the soil. Nuts will go bad and seeds may even sprout again. To find out if your crop is mature, pull 5 to 10 plants from across the field. Then pluck the large pods, open each of those large pods and look at the inside of the shell. If most of the shells are still white, the crop is not ready. If they are still mostly white, a few days or weeks may greatly add weight and quality to the nuts, especially if the weather conditions are good. Near the end of the season, check the maturity of the crop every few days. When most of the shells have turned to brown or black on the inside, the crop is ready to harvest. Once you have dug up the groundnuts, shake off the dirt and lay them in the field so that the pods are up in the air facing the sunlight and breeze. Keeping them off the ground helps the pods to dry. After the pods dry in the field for a week or so, pluck the pods. Don't leave them too long. If pods are not dry enough, mold can form and spoil the crop. Place the pods on a thin layer on a tap in the sun. Do not dry pods directly on the ground or over dry them. The pods are dry once the seeds become loose in the shell and rattle when a handful is shaken. Once they rattle, let them dry one more day to assure there are no pockets of moist pods. Before storing the groundnuts, sort out all immature, soft, discolored or damaged pods and remove all trash leaves, sticks, stones or dirt. These things can hold moisture and may cause the pods to spoil in the storage. Groundnuts should be stored in a shell for as long as possible. Depots or storage areas should be cool, dry and free of insects and rodents. Use only clean, dry sacks. Do not place the sacks on the ground or lean stacks against the wall. Use pallets or racks to assure air circulation. Following these important steps at the end of the growing season can make most of your crop. Remember to test for maturity, dry and sort the pods, then store them in dry sacks off the ground. These actions will help to make the groundnut crop a success.